Welcome to the Dynamic English. Fruits and Vegetables Sweetheart, it's important to eat lots of fruits and vegetables for our health. They give us vitamins and keep us strong. Let's try to include them in our meals every day. Okay, Mom. Which fruits and vegetables should we eat? We can have apples, oranges, bananas, and grapes for fruits. And for vegetables, we can try spinach, carrots, and broccoli. They're good for us. I like apples and carrots. Can we make salads with them? Absolutely. We can make a delicious apple and carrot salad. We can also have sliced fruits as snacks and add vegetables to our main dishes. That sounds yummy. I'll help you prepare the salads and snacks. That's great, sweetie. I'm excited to eat healthier, Mom. Thank you for teaching me about fruits and vegetables. You're welcome, my dear. Eating them will make us feel good and keep us strong. Let's make it a habit together. Vocabulary Watermelon Tomato Sweet potato Pineapple Strawberry Peach Peas Orange Onion Mango Lemon Grapefruit Grape Hair Papaya Eggplant Cucumber Corn Cherry Carrot Kiwi Banana Apple Hello, everyone, let's play the game. Are you ready? Let's get started. See the picture. What the name of this fruits? A. Orange B. Beans C. Carrot The correct answer is A. Orange What the name of this fruits? A. Blueberry B. Strawberry C. Blackberry The correct answer is B. Strawberry What is the name of this vegetable? Complete the empty box. The Ocean Animals Have you ever been to the aquarium? No, I haven't, but I've heard it's an amazing experience. I'd love to go. Me too. Let's plan a trip to the aquarium. 
I've heard they have a wide variety of ocean animals on display. That sounds exciting. We should check their website to see what exhibits they have and if there are any special shows or feeding sessions. Good idea. It would be great to see the dolphins, sea turtles, colorful fish, and maybe even some sharks up close. Absolutely. We can also learn about marine conservation and the importance of protecting ocean habitats while we're there. Yes, it's important to raise awareness about the beauty and fragility of our oceans. Plus, it will be a fun and educational experience. I completely agree. We should also plan to allocate enough time to explore the different sections of the aquarium, read the information boards, and fully immerse ourselves in the underwater world. Definitely. It would be amazing to see the stunning coral reef displays and the diverse array of marine life they have. And let's not forget to bring our cameras. We'll want to capture those memorable moments in the beauty of the underwater creatures. Absolutely. It will be a great opportunity for photography. We should also bring some snacks and water, as we might spend a few hours exploring the aquarium. Good thinking. Comfortable shoes are a must as well since there will be a lot of walking. We should also check if there are any restrictions or guidelines we need to follow. Yes, it's important to respect the rules and ensure the well-being of the animals. Let's also plan our visit during a less crowded time to fully enjoy the experience. Agreed. We can check the aquarium schedule and plan our trip accordingly. I can't wait to immerse ourselves in the fascinating world of ocean life. Me neither. It's going to be an unforgettable adventure. Let's mark our calendars and make it happen. Vocabulary Sea lion Sea turtle Dolphin Fish Crab Whale Starfish Shell Coral Lobster Seahorse Shark Office supplies Desk Drawers Binder clip Shelf File Card Envelope Clipboard Calendar Laptop Highlighter Earser Keyboard Computer Photocopier File racks Projector Projector screen Pencil Note Reception table Pen Mouse Push pin Paper clip Staff card Water bottle Water dispenser Notebook Letter Monitor Chair Conference table In the bedroom Conversation I just finished redecorating my bedroom Oh, that's great! What did you change? I painted the walls a nice color and added some new furniture. Sounds nice. Did you add any decorations or personal touches? Yes, I put up a few pictures and added some pillows and a rug. It must feel cozy now. Did you do anything with the lighting? I added some fairy lights and a bedside lamp for a warm glow. That sounds lovely. How about storage for your things? I have a big wardrobe to keep everything organized. That's convenient. Is there a window in your room? Yes, I have a window that lets in natural light. Your bedroom sounds comfortable and inviting. Thank you. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Vocabulary Window Bed Pillow Bolster Bear Blanket Rug End table
table lamp lamp clock air conditioner dresser television makeup table hair dryer ottoman ironing board cup ceiling fan desk book pen holder potted plant guitar shelf picture waste basket trunk of toys cardboard car wardrobe action verb talk she is talking run she is running walk she is walking bow she is bowing breathe she is breathing crawl he is crawling doze off she is dozing off drink she is drinking beer go down she is going downstairs go up she is going upstairs greet she is greeting knock she is knocking at the door laugh she is laughing lie down she is lying down on the bed nod she is nodding present she is presenting push she is pushing the door slip she is slipping on the floor stand up she is standing up sit down she is sitting down on the chair swim he is swimming wash she is washing her hands apply she is applying cream she is applying makeup brush she is brushing her teeth clean he is cleaning the floor carry she is carrying her backpack comb she is combing her hair cut she is cutting her nails cycle she is cycling play she is playing game she is playing card type she is typing on laptop watch she is watching video dry she is drying her face hold she is holding a fan listen she is listening to music throw away she is throwing away rubbish open she is opening the gift paint she is painting her nails feed she is feeding the baby Pump. She is pumping air. Pull. She is pulling with rope. Read. She is reading book. Smoke. She is smoking. Use. She is using hair dryer. Spray. She is spraying perfume eat she is eating burger pick up she is picking up eggs water he is watering answer she is answering the call propose 
he is proposing to his girlfriend. In the kitchen. Baking tray. Bowl. Mug. Cup. Ladle. Tongs. Blender. Bottle opener. Spoon. Chopping board. Chopstick. Coffee machine. Dishes. Fork. Frying basket. Glass. Glass hanger. Dish cabinet. Dishwasher. Egg beater. Electric kettle. Funnel. Ketchup. Kettle. Cabinet. Kitchen counter. Knife. Measuring cup. Oven glove. Pan. Sink. Microwave. Plastic box. Spatula. Oven. Plate. Pot. Recycle bin. Refrigerator. Welcome to the Dynamic English. Animals. Rabbit. Ant. Bear. Bee. Beetle. Bird. Boar. Butterfly. Camel. Kate. Chicken. Crow. Deer. Parrot. Dog. Dragonfly Elephant Gorilla Hippo Giraffe Horse Lion Locust Mosquito Mouse Penguin Pig Pigeon Sheep, Spider, Rhino, Rooster, Lizard, Fly, Tiger, Turtle, Frog, Buffalo, Zebra, Cow, Panda, Monkey Conversation I love animals Me too They're so cute and interesting What's your favorite animal? I really like dogs They're so loyal and playful Dogs are great. I'm more of a cat person myself. They're so independent and adorable. Cats are cool too. I love how they can be so cuddly and mysterious at the same time. It's amazing how animals can bring so much joy to our lives. Definitely. Whether it's a pet or seeing them in nature, animals always make me smile. I agree. We should take care of them and appreciate the beauty of the animal kingdom. Absolutely. Let's do our part in protecting and respecting all creatures, big and small. Daily routine. Hi Tom, nice to meet you. Hi Anna, nice to meet you, too. What are you doing here? I'm doing my daily routine going to the market to buy some apple. Oh, can you share your daily routine? I wake up at 6 o'clock. Then, I wash my face. Brush my teeth. 
do shaving, take a shower, dry my hair. Then I have breakfast with mom at 7 o'clock and leave home for work at 7.30. My work start at 8 a.m. and end at 4 p.m. I have a light coffee with my colleague during my break time. I usually drive my own car after working hour. Fix my car if have any issues. And wash my car. I do afternoon exercises for 15 minutes. After that, I spend my time with my family. Beside work, I like to help my wife wash the dishes. Water the tree. Do the laundry. Iron the clothes. Hang the clothes. Vacuum the floors. I make the time for myself after finishing the housework like play the guitar. Read the book, watch the TV show or do something I enjoy to relax. And go to bed at 10 p.m., I try to establish a regular sleep schedule by going to bed at 10 p.m. and waking up at 6 a.m. each day. It helps me maintain a consistent sleep routine and wake up feeling refreshed in the morning. That's smart, thank you for sharing your daily routine, goodbye, I must go now, have a nice day. Goodbye, see you soon. At the bank. Episode 1, Open the Bank Account. Next, please. Good morning. Welcome to Dynamic Bank. How can I assist you today? Good morning. I would like to inquire about opening a new bank account. Certainly. We have a range of account options available. May I know which type of account you are interested in? I'm looking to open a checking account and a savings account. Excellent. We have different checking and savings account options to suit your needs. Are there any specific features or services you are looking for in these accounts? Well, for the checking account, I would like one that has no monthly maintenance fees and offers online banking and mobile app access. As for the savings account, I'm interested in one that provides a competitive interest rate and allows easy transfers between my checking and savings accounts. Noted. We have a checking account option that offers no monthly maintenance fees, online banking, and a mobile app for convenient access. For the savings account, we have a high-yield savings option that provides a competitive interest rate and allows seamless transfers between your checking and savings accounts. Would you like more information on these options? Yes, please. That sounds like what I'm looking for. Can you also provide details on the minimum balance requirements and any other associated fees? Absolutely. Our checking account has no minimum balance requirements and there are no additional fees if you maintain the account within our specified terms. Regarding the savings account, there is a minimum balance requirement of $500. But if you maintain that balance, there are no monthly maintenance fees. If the balance falls below $500, a small fee may apply. Now, to proceed with opening your accounts, I will introduce you to one of our bank tellers. She will guide you through the account opening process and answer any specific questions you may have. Please follow me to meet her. Good morning, Miss Anna. I'm Amy, and I will be assisting you with opening your bank accounts. Thank you for choosing Dynamic Bank. I see that you are interested in opening a checking account and a savings account. Is that correct? Yes. Wonderful. To get started, I will need some identification from you. Please provide a valid government-issued ID, such as a driver's license or passport. Here you are. Thank you. Now, could you also provide a proof of address? such as a utility bill or a rental agreement. Here you are. Great. I have your identification and proof of address. 
Now, let's proceed with the account opening process. I will need you to fill out some forms with your personal information. Once completed, we can move on to the next steps. Thank you for filling out the forms. Now, let's discuss the account options you have chosen. For the checking account, you mentioned that you wanted one with no monthly maintenance fees and online banking access. Our basic checking account meets those requirements perfectly. It offers free online banking and has no monthly maintenance fees as long as you keep a minimum balance of $100. Does that sound good to you? Yes, that sounds good to me. Excellent. Now, for the savings account, the minimum balance requirement for this account is $500. Would you like to proceed with opening this account as well? Yes, that sounds perfect. I would like to open both the checking and savings accounts. Wonderful. To finalize the account opening, I will need an initial deposit for each account. For the checking account, the minimum initial deposit is $100, and for the savings account, it's $500. How would you like to make the deposits today? I can provide the deposits in cash. That works. Please provide the cash deposits, and I will process them for you. Thank you for the deposits. Now that we have completed the necessary steps, your checking and savings accounts are officially open. Here are your account details, including your account numbers and information about our online banking and mobile app services. You will also receive your debit cards within the next few days. Is there anything else I can assist you with today? No, that's everything. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. It was my pleasure assisting you. If you have any further questions or need assistance in the future, feel free to reach out to us. Have a great day. Thank you. You too. Episode 2, Withdraw Money. Good afternoon. How can I assist you today? Good afternoon. I would like to make a withdrawal from my savings account. Certainly. May I have your account number and some form of identification, please? Here you are. Thank you. I see that you have a savings account with us. How much would you like to withdraw today? I would like to withdraw $500. Noted. Just a moment, please, while I process your request. I'm sorry, but I noticed that your account balance is currently below $500, which is the minimum required balance for fee-free withdrawals. As a result, there will be a small fee of $5 for this withdrawal. Is that alright with you? Oh, I wasn't aware of the minimum balance requirement. Yes, that's fine. Please proceed with the withdrawal. I apologize for any inconvenience. I have processed your withdrawal, including the $5 fee. Here is your $500 in cash. Is there anything else I can assist you with today? No, that's everything. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. If you have any further questions or need assistance in the future, feel free to reach out to us. Have a great day. Thank you. You too. Episode 3, Take Back the Password. Next, please. Good morning. How can I assist you today? Good morning. I'm having trouble accessing my online banking account. I forgot my password and need to reset it. I'm sorry to hear that. Don't worry, I can help you with that. Could you please provide me with your account number and some form of identification? Here you are. Thank you. I will need to verify some information for security purposes. Can you please confirm your full name and date of birth? Certainly. My full name is Emily Smith, and my date of birth is January 19, 1970. Thank you for confirming. 
Now, I will generate a temporary password for you, which you can change after logging into your online banking account. Do you have access to the email address associated with your account? Yes, I have access to that email address. Perfect. I will send the temporary password to your email address right away. Please give me a moment. I have sent the temporary password to your email address. Please check your inbox or spam folder. It should arrive shortly. Thank you. I will check my email right away. I received the temporary password. What should I do next? Great. Now, please visit our bank's website and click on the Forgot Password link on the login page. It will guide you through the process of resetting your password. Once you have successfully logged in using the temporary password, make sure to create a new secure password that you can easily remember. Understood. I will follow those steps and reset my password. Thank you for your assistance. You're welcome. If you have any further questions or need additional help, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. You too. At the bakery shop. Hello, brother. Hey sister, guess what? Tomorrow is mom's birthday. We need to order a cake for her. Can you help me with that? Oh no, I completely forgot. Of course, I'll assist you. I am on my way to the bakery shop to order coffee. And will assist you to order the cake. What kind of cake should we get for mom? Mom loves chocolate, so let's go with a delicious chocolate cake. Okay, I got it, see you. Hello, how can I help you? Hi, can I get a croissant and a coffee please? Sure, would you like a regular coffee or a specialty drink? Just a regular coffee, please. And would you like your croissant heated up? Yes, please. Great, that will just take a minute. While I heat up your croissant, would you like to try one of our new muffins? Hmm, what flavors do you have? We have blueberry, chocolate chip, and banana nut. I'll go with the blueberry, please. Excellent choice. Here's your coffee and muffin. Enjoy. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Is there anything else I can get for you? Actually, yes. I'm throwing a party tomorrow and I need a cake. Do you do custom orders? Absolutely. What kind of cake were you thinking of? My mom loves chocolate. That sounds delicious. We can definitely do that for you. How many people are you expecting at your party? About 20. All right, we can do a 9-inch cake for you. Would you like any decorations on it? A just a simple happy birthday, mommy. Got it. We'll have your cake ready for pickup on tomorrow. That'll be $40. Sounds great. Thank you so much. My pleasure. We'll see you tomorrow. The girl leaves the bakery, happy with her order and excited for upcoming her mom birthday party. The baker goes back to work, feeling satisfied with their job and looking forward to baking the perfect cake for the customer's special occasion. Job Interview Hi, welcome. Can you tell me about your experience in the HR field? Yes, I have worked in the HR field for the past three years. My experience includes recruitment, training and development, performance management, and employee relations. Great. Can you walk me through your experience in recruitment? Of course. 
I have experience in all stages of the recruitment process, including job posting, screening resumes, conducting interviews, and making job offers. In my previous job, I successfully filled a number of key positions within the organization. That's impressive. How about your experience in training and development? In my previous job, I developed and delivered a range of training programs for employees at different levels within the organization. These included leadership development programs, soft skills training, and technical training. Excellent. And what about your experience in employee relations? I have experience in managing employee relations issues, such as conflict resolution, disciplinary actions, and grievances. I also have experience in developing and implementing policies and procedures to improve employee relations. Great. Thank you for sharing your experience. Can you tell me about a time when you had to resolve a conflict between employees? Sure. In my previous job, two employees were having a disagreement about the allocation of resources. I met with each of them individually to understand their concerns, and then I facilitated a meeting between the two of them to find a resolution. We were able to find a compromise that satisfied both parties and prevented any further escalation of the conflict. That sounds like a great outcome. Well, thank you for coming in today and sharing your experience with me. We'll be in touch soon. Thank you for considering me for the position. I look forward to hearing from you. Offer the job. Hello, Tom. I'm happy to offer you the position of HR officer with our company. We were very impressed with your experience in the HR field and believe you would be a great addition to our team. Thank you so much. I'm really excited about the opportunity to work with your company. Before we move forward, let's discuss the details of the job offer. First, let's talk about your salary expectations. What are you looking for? Based on my experience and research of industry standards, I was hoping for a salary range of $2,000 to $2,300. That's a reasonable range. We can offer you a starting salary of $2,200 with opportunities for salary increases and promotions based on performance. Thank you. That sounds great. I really appreciate the offer. Of course. We want to make sure that we provide competitive compensation to our employees. Now, let's talk about other benefits. Our company offers a comprehensive benefits package, including health insurance, dental and vision coverage, retirement plan options, paid time off, and flexible scheduling. Is there anything specific you're interested in? That all sounds great to me. Can you tell me a little more about the retirement plan options? Absolutely. We offer both a 401k plan and a traditional pension plan. Employees can contribute a percentage of their salary to the 401k plan and the company will match up to a certain percentage. For the pension plan, we offer a defined benefit plan that is based on your years of service with the company and your salary. It's a great way to save for retirement. That's really helpful. Thank you for explaining that to me. Of course. We believe in investing in our employees' futures. Now, let's discuss the start date. When would you be available to begin working? I can start in two weeks, if that works for the company. That works perfectly. We'll send over the offer letter and employment contract for you to review and sign. Once you've signed, we can move forward with the onboarding process, including completing paperwork, setting up benefits, and scheduling training. Do you have any questions or concerns about the job offer? No, everything sounds great. I'm really looking forward to starting my new role with the company. We're looking forward to having you on board. Welcome to the team. Thank you so much for watching. 
If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, we would greatly appreciate your support. Please take a moment to like this video, share it with your friends and family, and if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel.